video we are going to see how we can read a large csv file i have a csv file as big as this okay so it is so big file and in this video i'll show you how we can read this efficiently well there were so many you know uh, libraries that are available to read the csv files in this case i am using the open csv package you know this one open csv package which is coming from the apache so this is a maven repository guys open csv 5.5.2 i am using this and if you go to their uh, their library here and i am implementing this one reading into an array of strings so there were so many ways of reading a csv file so here i am reading them to the array of string how we can do that will start here okay so hope you guys have added this open csv a maven dependency here then I have created one uh, class called read big csv file with a main method in it. So let's get into it. I will take csv reader because I am using a csv file. Let's say like csv reader is equal to new csv reader. Okay. And it is coming from the file, right? So uh, take the path of that so you need to use new file reader because you are reading from the file then the entire name dot csv okay then import your csv reader here then file reader and it will ask you for the uh, try catch other throws guys because here if the file is not available then you can it will return this one in a given path let's say in this path if the file is not available it will return file not found exception this is a common exception when you are dealing with the files then here uh, as i said i am using string array here so i'll take lines okay as this then uh, here csv reader dot if you just apply dot here and you will see read next method right this method i am going to use it it is a string away so i will take i will assign it this to the uh, lines method okay lines variable then how will i know because here if you see it is a, a so many number of lines were there so obviously i need to iterate but i don't know the exact number of iterations i am using the while loop until when until it come to the end when i will know it is come to the end when my lines is equal to end that means it is having no data okay null until then i am going to read this and here i need to add another toes or you can say like uh, in the catch you can add anything is fine so csv validation exception okay then this is a line so in this loop if you see i have line each line i have so each line if you go here how many columns are there in each line I have A, B, C, D like this side. So A will start from 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. So let me print that sys out. Sys out here and uh, if you see here lines of 0 then uh, let me add another one something like lines of 1 and execute this now you could see we have got the data right so the first one is a id second one is a name okay so uh, id and name let me print the city as well likewise you can print else that means 0 1 2 likewise you can do else here what you can do is you can apply another loop condition here 
something like for int i is equal to 0 i less than uh, lines of lines dot length i can do i plus plus then here uh, sys out instead of print ln i'll use print because i'm going to print this in a single line Yeah, I'll use something like line of lines of i and I'll keep this then once the end of the loop what I'll do is I'll apply print ln okay so I don't need this here so what I'm doing is when I'm getting to the single line I am here inside the single line I am iterating through the columns here and once the line is completed i am giving the new line space okay so if i run this code then what will happen you will get something like this. this is a very 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 big csv file but it has completed within a second with the help of the csv reader read next methods basically i am reading this to the string array here so that's it for this video if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe it so that you will learn and i'll get better